In 1895, Jacksonville native James Weldon Johnson published the first known daily newspaper in Florida aimed at African Americans. 126 years later, black journalism continues to tell a deep history of racism and discrimination. Many who remember the Jim Crow era consider Ahmaud Arbery's death a modern form of lynching. The voices you're about to hear from our neighbors in Glynn County and their everyday experiences. Photojournalist Philip Emanuel has the voices of South Georgia. I'm terrified. Y'all don't get it. Y'all ain't scared when y'all leave y'all house. He uh, gets bullied by white kids all the time at school. Um, he comes home crying sometimes. They just bully me because um, I don't know why they bully me, but they just bully me. It's here. It's, 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 it's here. I also think that this case serves as a model for the nation. The crime is being committed and it's being committed by the magistrate judge. Y'all need to arrest them on the spot. We called him the other day and dad was outside and saw him running, running by and the neighbors pointing and everything. So saw who running by? Him. We want justice for my cousin. He deserves it. They've been breaking too many laws here for years, man. It's a Georgia thing. It ain't no Blaine County thing. It ain't no Pine County thing. It's not a Mackintosh County thing. It's not a Camden County thing. It's not an Appling County thing. This is a Georgia thing. As a trained first responder myself, breath is a sign of life. Out of 13 officers, no one verified uh, even after he passed that he had expired. It's been going on for years. This is not the first case. Miss uh, Miss Cooper was sobbing silently to herself. It's very difficult to hear. Excuse me. <laughs> I, can't talk. I hurt like a mother when I watched that video. I have a child that's 19 years old. It could have been him. He does not want his children to have to go through what his mother, what he's gone through as a black man, and what the children coming up may also go through. What's your dad's name? Greg McMichael. He's right there. He's the I, I, didn't, yeah, I, I, know who, I, I didn't even, I was like, wait a minute. In the police report that it was his son who pulled the trigger and those shots ultimately killed Ahmad Arbery. You know, it hurts me. It's, you know, I didn't know Ahmad personally. I know his cousin, but, you know, I know his family must be going through, you know, so no justice, no peace. Now! All the evidence the scintilla of evidence that we needed was for, uh, in the video captured in Scintilla Shores, which captured the murder of uh, Ahmaud Arbery. We, we are, of course, committed to seeing this through to a conviction. Stay positive, uh, stay focused, make sure we get justice for Ahmaud, justice for uh, uh, George, justice for Brianna, uh, justice for Trayvon. We got a lot of people to get justice for, but this time we're gonna do it the right way. Come on now, power to the people. Power to the people. Y'all gotta stay on it.